this year. You know, last year, I don't know if you call it a sophomore slump, or obviously the numbers were down compared to the outstanding freshman year you had. Yeah. Now you're right back up. Yeah, I well. mean, I go back to it every time. Just it's all in the head. It's it's realizing whatever happened the day before is done. And I think last year that was my problem was I would I would hang on a bad series for a while, and that would just keep rolling over throughout the season. But this year, it's been a big help for me. It's just once the day's over, good or bad, just reflecting off it, learning from it, and then moving on to the next day. I'm kind of surprised to hear you you held on to that. I mean, we're just talking to Seth, and he just described you guys as a lot of fun playing with you because you're complete opposites. Whereas he's more of a mm -hmm. kind of a grinding guy, and you're more laid back, more right. mellow. I mean, so how did that play? It seems like you're a guy that leave the office on the field when you need to. Right. Um, me and Seth, we're polar opposites on the field, but uh, he's one of my best friends, and we like to talk baseball. It's just we have two different uh, views on certain things about hitting in baseball, and we kind of bounce ideas off each other to help each other out.